Hi, welcome to another installment in the Simbit Energy Harvesting video series. In this session we're going to talk about thermal energy harvesting. Now let me show you how we're going to do that. We've got a little demonstration here where we've got a heat source, in this case just this cup warmer, and we have a, uh, a generator from Micropelt. They build a product that takes the energy, the heat coming off the, the hot plate, and the, uh, the cool air that's going through the splines, that temperature differential, creates electricity. And that electricity is brought over to the cement energy harvesting module. So here comes the electricity into the product, and we're storing the energy on this module that has two cement ener chips. Also on this module is electronics to drive and a wireless sensor. And here's the wireless sensor. It's from Texas Instruments. It has an MSP430 along with a CC2500 radio that is essentially a Zigbee 802.15.4. Uh, here we're using the Simplicity Protocol because it has a, a very much smaller uh, energy footprint for the information transferred. But we've created an autonomous wireless sensor by taking the energy that would normally be wasted coming off a hot source. Say, for instance, you have machinery in a factory and you want to monitor maybe the temperature, the vibration, the air quality. There's lots of things that you want to monitor in a factory, especially if you're looking to save energy. Here, of course, you can harness that free energy and drive wireless sensors. Of course, there's other kinds of sensors that you can use. This one here is a solar energy harvesting sensor. This is a complete kit that's available from Texas Instruments, and you can get that from DigiKey, Mauser, or on the TIE store. But I bring that up because it also has the firmware to run these various sensors, so it's really a great development kit. And let me show you here the graphical user interface. This red bubble here is the Texas Instruments access point that's plugged into the USB on my machine. And then you can see these yellow bubbles are coming up. Those are the sensors that are spread around in the room. This one's the solar, this one's the thermal. I've actually got a third one in the room as well, all reporting their information back. And each of these devices is being powered using the ambient energy around the device, thermal or solar. So I encourage you to head over to simit.com. We have a white paper there on zero power wireless sensors that talks about the architectures and the, and the tips and techniques for building these kinds of autonomous wireless sensors. So I look forward to talking to you soon. Give us a call anytime. Stop by Simit.com and look forward to working together on your next energy harvesting project.